while the Green Army came in Kisumu in big style here to defend their title. In fact, they've already won the league three times in a row, so there's a new trophy that is being fought for in 2019-2020 season. And the first time that the Kenya Premier League already has gone into the FIFA calendar, they started by pushing the ball forward. They had good display here. And uh, Lawrence Juma shot just hit the crossbar. Well, I'll tell you, it was a packed Kisumu stadium here. Mboya coming off his line to make that punch, but Lawrence was in a very good position with his left foot, beating Mboya in goal, but uh, being saved by the crossbar. Well, Gormaya kept on pressing uh, for a goal here. It's the same team that uh, Stephen Palok has paraded against uh, Egil Nua of uh, Burundi. Then this mistake by Gabriel Wandera prompted Gormaya's top scorer, Kipki Rui, to open the scores here. Palok, a happy man here. Of course, Wandera will be thinking, what was I thinking about? Kipki Rui getting into the box and a block pasta on the far post. No chance from Boya in that task as goal. What a way to open the scores. Boya had it covered, but uh, he went down a little bit too early in this one. But you'll not take their colleagues away from Nicolas Kipkiroi. He is a goal poacher, this man, for sure. Well, Gormaya kept on pressing, but Tasca Mushiri playing a one-two with Masharia. He delayed the feed to Mushiri, but when he got it, he had four players of Gormaya blocking him and turning on his left foot. What an equalizer, I tell you. You don't see such goals in football. They are beauties, I tell you. Mushiri turning and pushing his left. Mapigano in that Gormaya's goal had no chance at all. And what an equalizer from Boniface Mushiri. Top scorer for Tasca last season. He scored 12 goals. And uh, he has opened his scores. Uh, he's scoring this season with that brilliant equalizer against Goma here. Well, what a celebration here by Boniface Mushiri. He knows to score against the defending champions, no mean feat. It's that a different was the way. score during the halftime. 1 1, that is how it went. But in the second half, <laughs> there were different ways of attacking it here. Gormaya again, very ambitious. Wellington Ocheng coming into the box, beating Wandera, and again, <laughs> Wandera committing one of those schoolboy mistakes for sure. You call it that because uh, once you have Wellington in that box, there was no need of Wandera working him down. Gabriel Wandera making his debut for Tasca, but he will have Hallelujah. a Saturday to remember here. Wellington team beating him and they're working him down in the box. It's a clear penalty. David, David Somueno did not hesitate. The captain, Miguna, took the penalty. Mboya saved it, but uh, Miguna followed through. So the save from Mboya and then the follow-up from Miguna, making it 2-1 at this juncture. While Tasca complaining to the referee about that goal, but uh, clearly, according to FIFA rules, it's a clear goal here. Any rebounds coming from the goalkeeper, and uh, the kicker taking it counts immediately. So that's the second goal that Gormaya scored here. Captain Ikona. Gormaya kept on piling the pressure. The cross from the left side here. And I will tell you, Lawrence would have scored a brilliant goal in the first half. It was a bit difficult, it was a long distance, but look at his touch. Here it was the easiest to score. He picked his spot, but he just couldn't get the target. Boya was well beaten in that one, but uh, what a miss by Lawrence Juma. He knows he should have done better in that situation. Well, Boya again making a long pass here. And I'll tell you, Boniface Moshiri, equalizing in style yet again and Mapigano a lot of question will be asked where was Mapigano in this one was he not ready for the fight 
who was off his line and Boniface Mashiri making a fantastic equalizer here for Tasca. 2-2 was the scoreline at one, some point in this game. Well, at this point, you wouldn't know where the game was heading to. 2-2, Tasca coming from a goal down twice in this game to make it 2-2, courtesy of Boniface Mashiri. Well, this man scored 12 goals for Tasca last season. Then this set piece. Boya was off his line and Momani, you would just love his celebration. Miguna taking his time, picking the right spot. Boniface. Mushiri was nowhere to defend for Tasca. But I will tell you the concentration of the captain Miguna on this one. Charles Momani jumping above Boya. Robert to make it 3 2 for Goma here. Well, Boya came off his line and the role is clear for goalkeepers. Once you commit, then you have to have a touch. But who had the last touch and the last laugh? That was Charles Momani. Gormaya, they kept on the accelerator. Wellington Ochieng from uh, that right side, pushing it to Miguna. His first touch was nice. The second touch was to look at his spot. But then the final touch, you just love what the captain did. But you have to look at Wellington Ochien. He did very well from uh, the right side here to pick his captain. He had two touches on that one. And that was the fourth goal in this game here. Miguna scoring a, a brace. First one was a penalty. But this one, really, you wouldn't blame the goalkeeper because he took his sweet time and pushed it beyond Robert Boyer's reach. 4-2 was the scoreline here. They say in a game of football, it's not over until it's over. Miguna celebrating in great style here. Well, Gormaya kept pushing. The Green Army was singing in the crowd. Gormaya kept on pushing. Boniface Omoni, his first touch was fantastic. But look at his blockbuster here. He was in very good position. And then that was from the right side. His first chest. Boya off his line, and for the first time in Kenya's history, Gormaya beating Tasca by five goals to two. What a fantastic way for Gormaya to start defending the new KPL 2019-2020 trophy. It was all dance at the Moy Stadium in Kisumu.